What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a rich text editor to our blog with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna add a rich text editor to our blog. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. So in this video, we're gonna add this rich text editor. So we can stylize our blog post. We can add images, there's an image button, we can add bold and uh, change styles and things, do different sizes and add uh, emojis, I guess, and all kinds of stuff. So, so we're gonna use something called the CK Editor. It's Django CK Editor. And this will allow us to just drag and drop this thing right in here, and we don't even really have to write any code to make this work. So it's super easy, should only take just a few minutes to do. And it really adds a lot to our blog, right? So let's head over to our terminal. Let's come to our terminal, break out of our terminal. Let me just clear the screen. And we want to pip install Django-CK editor. And it should just take a second to install. Now, in order to use this thing, we just have to make a quick change to our model and then we can just start using it. So let's head over to our code and let's go to our the blog directory and let's find our models.py file. And then here at the top, we just go from CK editor dot fields import rich text field, right? So the R, the T, and the F in rich text field are capitalized. So these are fields, you know, our form has form fields. So we're using from fields, import rich text fields. So now we need to come down to our body and let me just copy this and comment it out so we have it to refer back to but we need to change this. Now the body field is where we type in all of our content for our blog post, right? It's the body of our blog post. And so here we just need to go rich text field and then go blank equals true comma null equals true. So then go ahead and save this. And now we've made a sort of a major change to our model. So we need to make a migration and push that migration. So let's head back over to the terminal here and let's go Python manage.py make migrations. And we've done this before. Make sure migrations is plural. Okay. So we've created a migration and we need to push that migration. So Python manage.py migrate. Anytime you're dealing with databases, it's always a two-step process. You make a migration, push your migration. We've done this before, so we know how to do it. So, all right, let's go Python manage.py run server to make sure our, to get our server back going. Now we've added this thing. We've added it to our models. We have to actually add it to our settings.py file. So let's, let's see, let's close some of these out here. Let's go back to our main a blog directory and our settings.py file and come down here to our installed apps. And we just need to add a new app. And the thing we need to add here is CK editor, right? So if we save this and now head back over here and let's say, let's go to, well, we can add a post. We could see there's that thing hasn't appeared, right? So we still need to add it to our blog itself. But if we go to our admin section and click on posts and let's say we want to, we want to edit a post here or something, you could see it's already working in our admin area. So that's very, very cool, right? So now, in order to use this thing on our actual blog, we need to make a couple of changes. So let's head over to our code and let's look at our templates file or our templates directory and let's find the add post. So this is the post that adds a, an actual blog post, right? So to put the form on the page that we have now, we use this form as P. So we can actually just copy this and add another one. And then instead of form as P, we just do form media. Let's go ahead and save this, head back over here. Now when we add a post, boom, this box appears and it works. Now, here's one interesting thing. If we create something, so let's call this uh, bold text and the title tag is <laughs> bold text. We want to put it in coding and let's, this is some um, bold text, right? And now we kind of highlight this and click the B right here. And now it says bold, right? So let's post this. And you can see it's showing up bold here. And if we click on the thing, it shows up bold here. 
but that's only because we added that safe tag uh, many videos ago. So if we look at our code and it's, let's see, let's see, what was that? The article detail page, right? Where we're outputting the blog post on the page. If we look through here, we see we added this safe flag right here. If we take this off, let me just copy this and delete it and save this and come back here. You see now the HTML doesn't work and so none of this will work. So for this to show up anywhere, you have to put this safe thing. And that's this, and that's true here. Oh, I've got to save it again. Save this file. It's true here. It's also true on our main page here, right? So, okay, that's all there is to this. Now, if we click here and we want to edit this, that box doesn't appear there. So we need to change this also in our edit page. So that would be update post.html. Same thing here. We just copy this guy. Paste it in again, change this to media, save it, come back, hit reload, boom. Now, you could play around with this. There's all kinds of stuff we could do. We can add an image. So let's go, I don't know, let's go to codemy.com. And any good images here, maybe this guy, view image. So get the URL for this image. If we wanted to add this here, we could click the little image button, add our URL. We can type in some other things. We see a preview. Boom, that works. We click update. <laughs> it's right in there. All right. So all kinds of cool stuff you can do with this. Change colors. Right. The source code. Change format. And now this isn't a particularly at a link, right? This isn't a particularly robust one. But we can add a table. Well, actually, it is not so bad. Add some flash. Is that, is that still a thing? Special characters, right? So uh, it's a pretty good one. And for the ease of use, you can't you can't go wrong. Now there are other uh, rich text editors you can use. Tiny Mice, Tiny M C E. Uh, that's spelled uh, T I N Y M C E. You can look into that one if you want. It's uh, also got a Django version that you can add similarly to the one we added this one. And that one may or may not be a little more robust. It's been a while since I looked at it. But I mean, shoot, for the, the time it took, body tag, p tag, to install this, this is pretty amazing, right? And all we had to do was pip install it, add it to our settings.py file, make a quick change to our models.py file, push that migration, and it just works. So uh, that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So they pay just $49 to access all of my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.